The goal is to improve diagnostic accuracy, as essentially has been the goal through all of the DSMs. The additional goal, which I mentioned when we started out, was that it be more dimensional in nature. And actually with the personality disorders, um, I think it has accomplished that. Now, um, I'll describe that a little bit later. They wanted to reduce the rat hole of NOS, which I'm very depressed about. Okay. This is not a single episode of a major depression. It is recurrent over this major change. Allegedly, they want to decrease the use of medicine. Yes. One of the other things that will be added is specifiers for severity. Okay. So for example, oh, the severity specifiers are to be part of the diagnoses. Um, right now, if someone, if you see someone who has bipolar 1, okay, one of the things that we, well, you probably don't do that here in Ohio, but one of the things that we in Massachusetts do is we make assumptions. If someone is suffering from bipolar 1, we make assumptions whether we have the information or not about the etiology of the illness. Okay, now I know that we all know that, but sometimes individuals don't come in and they don't tell us that. But we know, and so we write about it. What has changed, or the intent to change now, is that when someone comes in, hospital, office, prison, although they don't leave, um, that we will be asked to make a diagnosis on their presentation at that time. Now, as you well know, there is a disease cycle, for example, with bipolar 1. Right? Depending whether someone is taking their medication or not, determines where they are in their cycle. So if somebody comes in and they're taking their medication as prescribed, they're going to be at a very different place than they are if they're not taking medication, which is inherent in bipolar disorder. Okay. The specifier will be added so we will be able to say whether or not they're experiencing severe symptoms or more mild symptoms. Now, it is supposed to be a necessary part of our diagnoses. Now, you know, at the beginning of the manual, in little itty bitty letters, it talks about what we're to put in in the last two uh, frames of the diagnoses, okay? the ones that you don't go look at. Okay, now the hope is that we will be able to say something about the severity of where someone is and what they're experiencing when we see them. <laughs>